In a world where love is a constant and intermarriage is inevitable, Temi stood at the threshold of Mama G's compound, her heart pounding in rhythm with the drum beats from the village square. She wiped her sweaty palms on her wrapper, bracing herself for another day of scorn and bitterness from her fiancé's mother. Mama G, the matriarch of their late family, was feared and revered in equal measure. Her disapproval of Temi was clear from the moment her son, Obi, had brought her home. According to Mama G, Temi was a city girl, too modern and soft to handle the rigors of being an allied wife. The village knew Mama G as a woman who wielded power over her son's decisions. Her words were final. In her eyes, no woman was good enough for Obi, but she reserved a special kind of venom for Temi. She made sure Temi felt the full weight of her disapproval every single day. A woman who cannot pound yam with her hands is no wife at all. Mama G would say, her voice ringing through the compound as she glared at Temi, who tried her best to fit in. Today was no different. As Temi entered the compound, she was greeted by the sight of Mama G sitting on her favorite chair, her sharp eyes narrowing the moment she caught sight of her. So you're back again, Temi. I thought I chased you away last time, Mama G hissed, her tone cold and biting. Temi swallowed hard, forcing a smile. She had promised Obi she would do her best to win his mother over, but each day was a test of her patience and endurance. The chores were endless. Mama G had made it her mission to turn Temi's every day into a nightmare. From dawn till dusk, Temi was subjected to tasks that seemed designed to break her spirit. Fetching water from the farthest stream, pounding yam until her hands bled, cleaning the compound until every speck of dust vanished. Mama G supervised everything, looking for any excuse to belittle her. You can't even sweep properly. What kind of wife are you going to be? But Temi remained silent, determined not to let the insults break her. She knew that Mama G's wrath stemmed from fear, fear of losing control over her beloved son, Obi. Temi was not about to let that fear destroy her relationship. Yet, she knew something had to change. She couldn't endure this forever. One evening, after an especially grueling day, Temi found herself alone with Mama G in the dimly lit kitchen. The older woman had been unusually quiet, and Temi's nerves were on edge. As she stirred the pot of soup, she felt Mama G's gaze bore into her back. Why do you stay? Mama G asked suddenly, her voice low but heavy with menace. You should have run away by now like the others. Temi turned slowly, meeting Mama G's eyes. I stay because I love your son. And I will not let anyone, not even you, stand in the way of that love. Her voice was steady, though her heart raced. It was the first time she had ever spoken back to Mama G. The silence that followed was thick with tension, and for a moment, Temi feared she had gone too far. Mama G's eyes darkened, and she rose slowly from her seat. You dare speak to me like that, eh, she growled, her voice rising with fury. Temi stood her ground, refusing to back down. Yes, I dare. I am not afraid of you, Mama G. I respect you, but I will not be bullied. For a long moment, the air in the room crackled with electricity. Then, without warning, Mama G laughed, a deep, throaty laugh that sent chills down Temi's spine. You've got some spirit, girl, Mama G said, a strange glint in her eyes. Maybe you're tougher than I thought. Temi blinked, confused by the sudden shift in Mama G's demeanor. The older woman's laughter died down, and she gave Temi a long, hard look. But remember this, love is not enough. You'll need more than love to survive in this family. Weeks passed, and though Mama G's disapproval hadn't completely disappeared, something had changed. The relentless tasks became slightly more bearable, and the insults were fewer and farther between. Temi's determination had earned her a sliver of respect, though it was far from acceptance. It wasn't until the day of their late family festival that everything came to a head. The entire village gathered for the celebration, and Momaji, 
as the matriarch, was at the center of it all. Obi, always torn between his love for Temi and his loyalty to his mother, watched anxiously as the two women navigated the event with polite tension. But the tipping point came when the village elder approached Temi with a test, a task that every prospective allied wife had to complete, to lift the sacred calabash and carry it from one end of the compound to the other end of the large compound without spilling a drop of the palm wine inside. Mama G's eyes gleamed with anticipation, as if she was so certain that Temi would fail. The calabash was heavy, and the path was uneven and also rough. No city girl could handle it, Mama G silently thought. But as Temi bent to lift the calabash, she steadied herself with a calm determination. The villagers watched in hushed silence as she took the first step. Slowly, carefully, Temi carried the calabash, her focus unbroken. Sweat trickled down her face, but she never wavered. Step by step, she made her way across the compound. As she neared the end, the tension in the air was intense and filled with so much suspense as everyone were eager to see Temi finish victorious. Mama G's expression was unreadable. And then, with one final, graceful step, Temi lowered the calabash down as gently as possible, not a single drop spilled. The crowd erupted in applause, but Temi's eyes were only on Mama G. The older woman stood still, her face a mask of surprise and something else, something Temi couldn't quite understand just yet. Slowly, Mama G approached her, and for the first time, she gave her a sharp smile. You've proven yourself as a virtuous woman today, she said, her voice softer than Temi had ever heard. Welcome to the family. Temi felt a wave of relief wash over her, but more than that, she felt a sense of triumph. She had faced the fire, withstood the heat, and emerged stronger. Mama G's approval was a hard one to win, but in that moment, Temi knew she had not just gained a mother-in-law, she had gained her fellow woman's respect above all odds. And as the sun set over the village, casting a golden glow over the celebration, Temi and Obi stood hand in hand with their emotions and affections locked together, ready to face the future together, no longer divided, but united as one. So I'd like to hear your thoughts in the comment section. Please share them with me and please support your hunger Naomi by subscribing to my channel, liking my videos and sharing with your loved ones. Thank you so much for listening to this tale. Thank you so much for watching. So until I come your way again with more interesting stories. Bye.